الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب توحيد الله should be the most beloved thing to each and every one of us because we know that our purpose is, is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ لِلْيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping him. And with that being said, we have to know what ibadah is. If we are to perform it properly, we need to know what it is. What does salat mean? What does tahara mean? What does uh, hajj mean? Because all of these are acts of ibadah. And likewise, those inner acts of ibadah, tawakkul, rahaba, khawf, khashya, khushur, all of these things are inward acts of ibadah. And with that being said, ibadah only goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning all of those things go to Allah. With du'a, du'a is ibadah. Supplicating, supplication is worship. Listen to a couple of ayats from Kitabillah regarding how some of the earlier people went astray with seeking refuge from the jinn, seeking support and help from the jinn, which amounted to worship of the jinn. And likewise, by supplicating and having humility before the deceased of the Salihin, of the Oliya, of the, the pious people and the saints, that has no place in, in Islam. That's reserved for the, the Catholics who have the saints, their relationship with their various saints. But Islam, we don't have that. Islam, we respect righteous people. We love them due to their obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can't supplicate to them. And we can't offer them anything, especially after they've died. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem in Surah Al Jinn. وَأَنَّهُ كَانَ رِجَالٌ مِنَ الْإِنْسِ يَعُوذُونَ بِرِجَالٍ مِنَ الْجِنِّ فَزَادُهُمْ رَحَفًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and verily some of the men from amongst mankind they used to seek refuge in the men from amongst the jinn and it only increased them in fear subhanallah letting us know that the people that have that relationship with the jinn meaning the spirit world seeking support and help and assistance from them Aside from their misguidance, aside from their shirk, polytheism, and kufr, that is only going to increase them in fear. Because when you seek refuge in someone or something, you seek refuge in that thing or in that someone to help relieve fear, to help relieve you from something. You, you seek assistance from people for help. But if the help that they give you is only increasing you in what you were running from, then surely we can deduce that there's little, there's no benefit. And this is likewise with those people who supplicate to the dead. Even to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Supplicating to him, asking him for support and assistance, it won't benefit you at all. وقال الله في كتاب الكريم 
ولا تدعو من دون الله ما لا ينفعك ولا يضرك فإن فعلت فإنك إذا إذا من الظالمين وإن يمسسك وإن يمسسك الله بضر فلا كاشف له إلا هو الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم من سورة يونس he سبحانه وتعالى says and do not تدعو do not supplicate do not call upon anyone other than Allah that will not benefit you nor harm you and if you did that then verily you are from the volimeen the wicked oppressive sinners and if Allah causes a harm to touch you then there is no one who can remove it except him Allahu Akbar this is in the Quran how is it those people can debate and justify going to the graves going to Sayyid Bedouin going to Sayyid uh, Abdul Qadr Jilani going to so and so to the grave of so and so Sheikh so and so said it's okay Sheikh Abdullah Harari said it's okay to supplicate the Salihin well, that's fine. They said that. But what did Allah say? When يَمْسَسْكُ اللَّهِ بِدُرٍ فَلَا كَاشِفَ لَهُ إِلَّا هُوَ If Allah touches you with a harm, afflicts you with a trial, no one can remove that إِلَّا هُوَ And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bless us with ilm nafi, risk and tayyib, wa amalim mutaqabbilin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins, and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us and bless you. Forgive us and forgive you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be nur. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere, forgive the Muslims everywhere, protect the Muslims everywhere, guide the Muslims everywhere away from shirk, which negates tawheed. And may Allah bless us with ikhlas, with the bad on the sunnah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم